Well, switching to volleyball, the quarterfinals went a lot smoother for Lamar's Galen this year than last. The Jays had to sweat out a five-setter a year ago, but on Wednesday, they cruised past East Mills three sets to none. Now, a tougher challenge awaited Galen as they look to make it back to the 1A title game. Number two Jays taking on third-ranked Holy Trinity Catholic. Galen down one set to none in the second, but showing plenty of fight. Brooklyn Heisel sends it cross-court good for the point. Then later in the set, Katie Peters is going to pop this one over the top for the set winner. Jays take set two, 28-26. Later on, more from Mike Myers' bunch in set three. The Crusaders can't handle the Anna Britt serve. That is an ace. But Holy Trinity not backing down. Claire Pothetakis rifles this one opposite corner for the score. Crusaders take the third, 25-20. And then on match point in the fourth, Jays can't stop Aaron Anderson's kill. And Galen's season comes to a close, three sets to one. It's definitely been fun playing here the past four years, and I'm sure going to miss it because coach has made it so much fun and the girls have made it so much fun. They have a lot to be proud of. I mean, you know, they've been in three state tournaments and, you know, they've been in two final fours and one, and one championship game, and, and you know, they, they've been a major part of that. Jays finished the season 28 and 5. To Class 2A now, number three, Western Christian taking on fourth-ranked Sydney. Wolfpack with a 2-0 lead ahead of the third set. Madison Hoffman serving. That's going to drop in for the ace. And then from there, Western went to their big hitters. Tori Winya with the kill too hot to handle for the score. Sydney, though, trying to keep pace here in the third set, getting the kill here to go off the blockers and out for the point. But it was just too much Wolfpack in this one. Chandler Schemper with the spike that goes off the net and in for the point. Western wins it three sets to none. Wolfpack onto their 17th championship match in 18 years. So fun. It's finally like time to step up and be a leader. And it's something that you look forward to ever since you're little. And it's just so fun to actually be here. Every year it's a new group of kids. And, um, you know, they, they. I look up in the stands and I see all these little girls um, you know, looking down, wanting this someday, and this was what those girls were when this run started. So it's just a tradition, and, uh, you know, tradition never graduates. So who will the Wolfpack play? Number two, Beckman Catholic or Sioux County neighbor Unity Christian. Pick it up in the third, tied at one set apiece. Unity's Christ or Corinna Timmermans unloads for the wicked kill. Then how about some defense? Micah Bile with the block at the net for the Knights as Unity extends the lead. Then check this out. Off the Knights serve, the dig is going to come right back to Timmermans at the net who sends it home. Unity can smell that championship match. Timmermans with another one of her match high 24 kills and the Knights upset top seed Beckman Catholic and will face Western coming up on Friday. It's been my dream to make it to the state finals since I was young, but yeah. We did it as a team, and we're just excited to be there. Well, it's my first time, so I'm just really thankful to get us get to get to that point. I'm really proud of our girls. I thought they fought through, even though we they took a set from us. It didn't rattle us too much, and we just we we believed in ourselves. And we had perseverance there, and we went back to doing what we know has carried us through games against big teams before. That two-way title game is set for Friday at 4:45.